Yeah, we grew up in the, in the state and you know, I came to a couple games. That was kind of like my real first exposure to you know, big time college football. I played since I was five. It was always just a part of my life. Just seeing how much my dad has helped me, but how much my dad has helped so many other people, you know, including my best friends from high school. It was, at times, it was struggling. I remember early on, I was a second string offensive line my sophomore year, and the kid in front of me, he ran a play, and then I got in, and I ran it the same way, except I got yelled at. And then after, I said, well, why did you yell at me? You didn't yell at him. He told me, well, you're my son, so, just, you know, you have to do everything kind of perfect. He's a great coach, and he's helped me, and he still helps me today. Without him, I wouldn't be even close to the level I am. The biggest thing was the hard work and commitment. He took me to the weight room before I got in high school. Yeah, I remember one day I couldn't get this one set. And you know, I put it up and I was about to walk away and he said, what are you doing? You gotta get three. And I was in there for 45 minutes before I could get three. I kept trying and trying. And that kind of stuck with me was just, you know, never stop, keep trying to, you, cause you can do it eventually. You know, I was able to come here and get a scholarship. And when a lot of people said I couldn't do that, I also played defensive end behind Foley, and a lot of people said I wouldn't be able to do that either. I like to say, you know, my brother's smart because he, he's he's much smarter than me, and you know I'm just the one who works hard and knows how to, you know, get the A's and put a lot of time into it. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say they came easy to me. You know, I've always had to like study for a little long time and stuff like that. But definitely, uh, my high school Xavier was a big part in that. You know, coming here, I actually felt like I was like. The stuff I was doing at Xavier was prepared me. It was a great head start, great head start. I got the all district thing, which was really cool. That's a great honor, I'm very happy. I get honored at the 4.0 nights, 3.0 nights. Um, you get the piece of paper for America and all, all academic. Physical traits, you definitely have to have good hand-eye coordination and reaction time. You gotta get your hands on people, move your feet real fast, get them in the ground, because you don't want your feet off the ground. You gotta have a strong punch, strong legs, be able to hold up. That's the strength. And quickness. One of the hardest things with football is you know you get a bad play, you got to just forget about it because you can't change that, and that's sometimes hard to do. You got to flip the script and just like I got to stop them now, and that's the hardest part mentally. In terms of the younger players, it's more, it's just in positive encouragement because it's hard. You know you got to kind of take like 10,000 reps to get good at something, and it's just like you stick with it. That little thing was better right there, and that's, that's a huge difference. It doesn't feel like it. You know just keep it's persistently just praising them and letting them know that they're doing a good job. And, you know if they're not. I don't know, hey, what you're doing now isn't right and you need to fix it. One of the key things to being a player is to be coachable. And you know, sometimes you get caught up in that. You know, you know, he's not there, he's not playing, he doesn't understand, but you know, when you really take a step back and you look at it, you know, it's a huge part because they know so much.